Happy New Year, everybody, a little belatedly, but 2024 is finally here. Scientists warned us for decades that it would start on January 1st, and yet we did nothing. <laughs> now, because of our inaction, we're having the same presidential election with the same two old men as last time. Uh, only older and samer. <laughs> Among the things that will happen again, no matter what we do, is the Republican primary starting with next Monday, next Monday's Iowa caucus. The front runner for first loser is former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, seen here really half assing it through this performance of YMCA. <laughs> Governor Haley's campaign was gaining momentum until recently when she fumbled a gotcha question from 1861. What was the cause of the United States Civil War? Well, don't come with an easy question or anything. I mean, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run, the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. Judges? <laughs> oh. No, I'm sorry. The answer we were looking for was slavery. <laughs> slavery. Now, for the former governor of South Carolina, that is a ridiculous thing to forget. That, that's like the Kool-Aid man doing this. Wait, what's my line here? <laughs> Haley has since tried to walk back her comments really poorly. Here she is in an Iowa town hall. I should have said slavery right off the bat. But if you grow up in South Carolina, literally in second and third grade, you learn about slavery. You grow up and you have, you know, I had black friends growing up. It is a very talked about thing. Oh, yeah, she had black friends. <laughs> but then they heard her opinion on what caused the Civil War. Trump saw Haley's gaffe as an opening to make himself look slightly less terrible. They asked her about the Civil War. Why did it start? How did it start? She didn't use the word slavery. You know, I'd say slavery is sort of the obvious answer. Yes. <laughs> slavery is the obvious answer to what caused the Civil War, just like Donald Trump is the obvious answer to what caused Civil War II. <laughs> but, but... But he didn't leave it there. I love studying the, uh, if you take a look, I mean, the wars. I don't know what it is. The Civil War was so fascinating, so horrible. It was so horrible, but so fascinating. It was, uh, I don't know, it was just different. I just find it, I'm so attracted to seeing it. Really? <laughs> he finds the Civil War so attractive. Now I, I finally understand that Ken Burns documentary. My dearest Martha, you should see the hills on this battlefield, if you know what I'm saying. Va va voom, hamana hamana, auga. Please note, I'm doing the thing where I'm pretending my eyes are popping out of their sockets like a cartoon wolf. Have cartoons been invented? If not, I have an idea. Anyway, I got shot today. But, kind of buried the lead there, but. What everyone's talking about is the next idiotic thing he said about the Civil War. So many mistakes were made. See, there was something I think could have been negotiated, to be honest with you. I think you could have negotiated that. Yeah, nothing could have been easier about negotiating the Civil War. How about this? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, totally enslaved. Tuesday, Thursday, <laughs> alternate weekends, totally free. And I'll throw in power windows, but my manager's gonna kill me. Have you met my manager? <laughs> It's John Wilkes Booth. Get over here. I want to show you. <laughs> wow. That's not the only war that could have been averted by some common sense negotiation. They may take our lives, or they may take our freedom. There's wiggle room. Let's make this a win win for everyone. That also wasn't the only time that Trump attacked Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley has been in the pocket of the open borders establishment donors her entire career, and uh, she's a globalist, you know? She likes the globe. <laughs> she's a globalist, she likes the globe. Not me, I'm a misogynist, because I love a good massage. <laughs> That's what I do. Hello. 
While he was out in Iowa, Trump also talked about plans for a new missile defense system. It's unbelievable. Missile coming in, missile coming in. These geniuses sit down. Most of them are, you know, they're from MIT. But they sit down, bing, 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 she, it's gone. And here I thought Neil deGrasse Tyson was best at explaining science. <laughs> Cosmos, I see your new host. <laughs> Trump then shared this anecdote about common questions he gets from his supporters. A lot of people say, they ask me two questions. First, they say, sir, how do you do it? How do you wake up in the morning and put on your pants? <laughs> Gotta say, I, I wonder that sometimes, too. Is there, <laughs> is there like a black and, black and tackle, like, pulley system? Maybe a large trampoline and an idling forklift? A <laughs> series of bungee cords? A grease slide with the open pant waist wrapped around the bottom? <laughs> Do tell. Of course, if you want to win the Iowa caucuses, you have to pander to the three things Iowans love the most. Corn, Jesus, and corn Jesus. <laughs> he was shucked for our sins. <laughs> now, according to polls, Iowa evangelicals love Trump. According to one voter of faith, Trump is our David and our Goliath. Yes. He's David and Goliath, which is why he talks like he just hit himself in the head with a rock. <laughs> now, Trump knows, sure, brain damage. Trump knows how to play to this flock, because on Friday, he went unto Truth Social, and lo, he hath reposted this abomination. On June 14th, 1946, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker, so God gave us Trump. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, fix this country, work all day, so God made Trump. Okay, fine, God made Trump. But God also made that fish in the Amazon that swims up your pee hole and shoots out spikes <laughs> so you can't get it out. So I'm just saying God's got a mixed record on making things. <laughs> By the way, Donald, have you thought about going swimming in the Amazon? Uh... The video. The video continues. I need somebody with arms strong enough to rustle the deep state and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. I am not aware that that ever happened. <laughs> okay, stand back, Doc. Jared, get out of here. I played baseball. I got this. Oh, my God, what am I looking at? There's a head coming out of there. Run out, run for your lives. Bing, bing, bing. Shoo! <laughs> Shoo! Now, before I tell you this next story, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to keep in mind, everyone's <laughs> fine. I'm okay. Here's what happened. This past Friday, an Alaska Airlines flight was forced to make an emergency landing after the window blew out in midair, which is why next week I'll be traveling to L.A. for the Emmys via Greyhound. <laughs> you know their slogan, mostly no cannibals. Again, no one was hurt, but it was pretty scary. According to the people on the plane, a phone was taken out of a man's hand by the wind, wow. and a boy's shirt was ripped clean off his body, flying out the hole. It reminds me of my favorite John Denver song. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Oh, crap, my shirt blew off again. I should call my whoops. There goes my phone. The plane in question, the plane in question was a Boeing 737 MAX 9, which is incredibly a model from the same line of aircraft that also crashed in 2018 and 2019, and now the windows are blowing out at 16,000 feet. Boeing, of course, named after the sound it makes when one of their windows bounces off a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> now, Boeing, <laughs> Boeing. Keeping it light, keeping it light. Like, no, 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 I'm not asking. No, no, no. No, no, no. But yeah, 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 a little bit. No, no. Now. Yeah. 
Now, the FAA has grounded all Boeing MAX 9s until they can safely operate, and that's probably for the best. Evidently, Boeing has been trying to make a lot of these 737s really fast, which has resulted in big problems like loose bolts found on door plugs during inspections. Loose bolts? Loose bolts! <laughs> what happens to one of those things when they get up to 30,000 feet? Bing, 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 she. We got a great show for you tonight. My guest is the hilarious and talented new host of After Midnight, Taylor Tomlinson. And then I give the Colbert questionnaire to Barbara Streisand. But when I come back, science, join us. <laughs>